What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Shari. I know what time it is. Hit that like button, turn notification on, and subscribe to the channel. Listen, this is not a chat for children, so if you are a child, you probably should exit stage left. All right. If you are here in the chat, make sure you guys speak because ain't nobody sleep with you last night. Let's jump into it, right? Melody's been dropping nuggets, and if you guys um and if you guys been following her for a while, you know that she don't go full throttle, um, and she's not going to say exactly what's going on, at least behind the scenes or anything like that, unless she's pulling too close to the edge right um so i'm assuming that these um these story uh messages aren't just messages and food for the thought okay now i am assuming all right um which means that i have no proof of them but i'm assuming that these aren't just messages that she just came up with from the top of her dome i believe that something is probably going on behind the scenes and she says look sis um I'm pressure, okay? I know, look, 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 look. I'm pressure, all right? And I ain't never seen nobody. Worrying about what other folks are doing, your gift will make room for you, and that's one God, the big one, okay? Basically, she's saying, don't be so consumed in somebody else's situation or what they got on or how they got to their bag or how they was blessed faster than you or anything of that nature. Focus on you. You might thrive faster, okay? She also says that, when I say I know without a doubt that the success I experienced is partly because I didn't spend energy trying to figure out what everybody um, what everybody had going on. Honestly, I didn't want to know it because I wanted to be creative and leave room for God to show me the way without um, blurred vision. And baby, when I say he did just that, and that's a good point, you feel what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, if you're so focused on everybody else, uh, and you can't see clearly over here on your end, all right? And your vision does become blurred because your lens that you're looking out of are now foggy. So the ability to look clear, you forfeit that, okay? So listen, do me a favor, take Melanie advice, and don't be worrying about how she got to the top uh, or what she used to get to the top, what she had to fumble to get to the top, what God allowed for her to get to the top, and so forth, okay? Whoever the message is for, uh, we could all assume, listen, we might be talking to this person, might be talking to that person, person but i know for a fact uh these messages aren't just from the top of the dome right this is probably some behind the scenes stuff that she saw and like sis i know you worried about me because what i'm pressure all right now she goes on to say now just because i kept my mind uh on me, right? And not nobody else's bag. Now I get to wake up every single day doing what I love or working with passion um, on my purpose. So because I was obedient, because I've allowed God to allow me to focus on me, now I'm doing what I do with passion on purpose. All right. So listen, whoever, again, or whatever is running around here focusing more on her than growing you, I think you should take a step back and look at your situation. Why can't I get to the top? Maybe it's something that you're doing wrong. Listen, I don't know. But listen, let me know what you guys think in the comment section, honey. Is it just food for the thought or is it something going on behind the scenes that we may not know? Uh, let's move along to Miss Stormy. Miss Stormy says that I have been going through it. Okay. Now, let me say this miss Sorby just had an amazing party it looks like a great turnout a lot of friends and family came uh people that did not even know her came right but she also has a lot of stuff going on on the other end okay she has a lot of suitcases going on allegedly in my opinion okay uh, it is enough to stress you the hell out okay so i don't think for a moment that she will remain calm in all of this because i'm gonna be honest i know that i wouldn't yes god is faithful yes god will do it but i know that norm uh in a normal circumstance you got all of these people pointing at you uh listen you will be stressed the hell out okay so lately i know that she's been facing one or two cases i know it was reported uh and i'm just going to still say allegedly right it was reported that she said that she settled with one of the cases um and she came in the day before uh to settle that case versus the day that it was scheduled for um i think another case she is now uh it's not done as of yet right um, and if I'm not mistaken, there's one more, but don't quote me on that list. And it's still allegedly because, um, I really, I'm really not interested in, uh, what they have going on, but I am interested in how it's handled. Right. Um, but with that being said, we know that it will be stressful and how I know it's stressful is because usually stormy post about two, three, four, five, six times over there on Instagram and it has slowed down, which means that she's probably somewhere, uh, with her pillow, uh, with the cover over her head because she has expressed on 
numerous occasions that she goes through these droughts. Um, and up until two days ago, she's still talking about these droughts of depression that she is experiencing. Um, and here's what she had to say. Okay, it's a transparency moment. I really need to be back active on social media. I used to love posting and sharing. Then somehow in these last two years, depression set in on and off and I lost my footing. I thought I was subliminally becoming uh, reclusive due to being on TV and experiencing newfound hate. But as I'm truly sorting through my feelings, I honestly think I experienced past partum and didn't know how to process or identify with it because I've always strived under stress. But now in hindsight, I really realize it's been something more than just stress. I lost a lot of me these last two years. Now, let me say this. These last two years, two years is a long time to go through anything, okay? And it's a long time to realize that you ha are going through something and you never treated it properly or you didn't even realize that you were going through something, right? You might have looked like, dang, I just spazzed out on this person. I just did that. That wasn't even necessary. But what is causing me to do it? And it really sucks that you have to go back and find out what the issue is uh, over two years worth of spazzing, okay? That's a hell of a lot of time and a whole lot of detangling and pointing the hell out okay but here's the thing and y'all know I like to think rational in my opinion is unpopular here's the thing the fact that she recognized is amazing the fact that she knows that she better do something about it is even more amazing what wouldn't be amazing is if she goes and put that uh, cover over her head take the rest that she needs and come right back out and do the same thing all over again okay because we've saw that too so listen we're hoping that this statement she recognize it and she do something about it so she can be a productive individual because if not the pressure is going to be on you and you're not going to be the pressure does that make sense okay moving right along because after that now she's back posting on social media and she's back talking about um, the shipping, right? She says that we're packing all this, we're getting all this out, we're getting all that out, and so we can get down to the two-day shipping so people could stop talking about me, all right? Which means that she, that right there is bothering her more than ever. Now, I don't believe, this is my personal opinion, I don't believe that it's bothering her that she can't get the stuff out on time. I think more so she's bothered by the fact that people is talking about her. We know that she keep mentioning, all they do is so, sit on social media and talk about me. Okay, so I think that's more of a concern versus what she should be focusing on. What am I doing wrong that I could never meet the deadline? Okay, but listen, we wish her the best because depression is real, right? We're not going to stop her in that area, but we also want to rationalize things and tell you what you could do better and why you should be doing X, Y, and Z and how it could end for you if you don't pick up the pieces. Okay, but let's move on. Let's move on. Last but not least, let's talk about Mr. Martell. Mr. Martell says that, and let me say that I have not seen the post, but I do see that everyone's talking about it. Um, a series of bloggers are talking about it. That Martel says, leave me alone. I'm minding my own business. I would like to rebrand myself uh, and I'm tired of hearing y'all just drag me down, right? Uh, I'm, I want to rebrand. I want to do things all over again from scratch and I want y'all loving marriage Huntsville cray cray people to leave me the hell alone. Well, Mr. Martel, it isn't that easy. However, I do believe that you deserve some type of redemption when you decide to repent, okay? But the problem that you can't get no redemption is because you refuse to realize, one, that you did anything wrong, and two, you keep playing all these behind-the-scenes games, ring around of rosy motions and all these hopscotch games, okay? If you truly want everybody to leave you alone and you want every brand, you got to stop playing victim. You're going to have to really do the work. And what you're doing now is leave me alone while I work behind the scenes. It doesn't work that way. And unfortunately, the things that you have done or it has been alleged that you've done or you've been a part of, guess what? They're so serious that I don't care how you hide them, who you pay to wipe them out. Nobody is ever, ever going to forget them. So you're going to have to work extra hard so that people can stop dogging you the hell out. OK, but if you just really, really, really gave an apology and really meant it and not say, well, I did what I did because Melanie didn't do what she was supposed to do. Just maybe somebody will say, you know what, Martell, that's the first time I heard you seriously mention that I could have done better. And I could have had a conversation. I didn't have to go poking and stoking and I didn't have to have a child. Then maybe somebody might just come back and say, Let's cut him a break. But you don't do that. It's always point a finger, 
pick me. It was her, not me. I did this because she did that. That has been your story forever, okay? Now, listen, I want all my black brothers to win, okay? I'm, I'm serious about that. I want all brothers to win, all kinds to win, but I most of all want my black brothers to win. But I hate when y'all put a fork in yourself. I dislike when y'all put a fork in yourself and then want us to come and pull it out, okay? It doesn't work like that. You put it in yourself, now you got to work to get it the hell out of y'all, the hell out of you, okay? But listen, he says, stop picking on me. I want to rebrand and I want to move on from all this, okay? Let me know what y'all think in the comment section. That's what he said, not me. Uh, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. Turn your notification on, hit the like button, and subscribe. Until next time, checkmates. Bye!